So one can imagine the articles that have been showing up as of late uh, regarding men going their own way. Some kind of a, I don't know, a afraid of something. One has to wonder, what, what are they afraid of? Men doing what they want with their own lives. So what do we do? Well, we have to demonize these men because they're all a bunch of women-hating misogynists, of course. Oh, it's the playbook every single friggin' time, isn't it, guys? So in The Guardian, a, a woman named Laura Bates is the author of this, Men Going Their Own Way, The Rise of a Toxic Male Separatist Movement. The men of the Men Going Their Own Way movement aim to live their lives with no female contact. Not necessarily true. The idea began on the fringes of the internet. Actually, there's been confirmed bachelors, uh, Laura Bates, for centuries. <laughs> It's just gotten a little bit bigger and more widespread because of the internet. Where before it was your crazy uncle that would show up at Christmas and, Why aren't you married? That's how it was spread before. Now the internet. It makes it a little bit easier for men to communicate. I know it's scary to women. The emotional black holes of men actually being emotive and telling the other men about their shh <laughs> We don't mean you need to be more emotional about that, you evil. You need to be more emotional about me. <laughs> she writes, there's been an awakening, changing the world one man at a time. This is what shows up on the mengoingtheirownway.com website. If you stumble across this website and have never heard of this, you would probably assume this was a tiny extreme movement, but you'd be half right. Well, you'd be all wrong, wouldn't you, Laura? It's not a movement. It is a philosophy. You get it? Men going their own way, doing their own thing. Oddly, doesn't it seem that when women go their own way with their careers and they do whatever they want with their lives and blah, 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 that, that's lauded. That's positive. You don't need no man. You go, girl. But when men say the same thing, eh. Not really interested in, well, you're toxic and evil. <gasps> you're an extreme movement. We all know the shaming tactics by now, right, guys? The views of men going their own way are indeed unorthodox. Even within the sprawling web of groups, lifestyles, and get this, cults, <laughs> known as the Manosphere, where women haters mobilize against a supposed gynocentric conspiracy. Why? Why do you think it's important for her to try to lump everyone, every man going his own way as a woman hater? Well, I guess it depends on how hate is defined. You mean you're not worshiping at the feet of the poon? Well, you must hate women then. Because you know that's what they mean. Sure, there are some extreme uh, men going their own way to indeed do hate women. I mean, hate, hate women. But my guess would be, in this case, it's because we're not worshiping. It's a binary. You either worship the poon or you hate women, which is the biggest pile of bullshit I've ever heard in my life. But that's the way they look at it. Not all, but some, like the author here, and probably quite a few f peopleists view it the same way. You see, criticism is hate. Saying maybe, maybe, maybe something here, you know, this and that and blah, 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 blah. You, obviously, you hate women. You can't criticize women. They're all perfect. And men cannot have problems because men are all privileged and in power because of the patriarchy. Trademark, right? Although some men going their own way maintain platonic relationships with women and others have one night stands or visit workers, many prefer to abstain from the activity, a process called going monk. Well, this is too much for some members of the wider manosphere. The blogger Matt Forney, notorious for posts such as why fat girls don't deserve to be loved and the necessity of DV, wrote that men going their own way is no way for men to go and mocked men going their own way as a cult for lonely virgins. I looked up this article on, remember the website? Return of Kings, remember that one? That suddenly stopped having new articles, what, a couple years ago? Hmm, interesting, Matt, that you would say that. On Return of Kings, link below. 
But this isn't an obscure internet cul-de-sac. MenGoingTheirOwnWay.com is almost 33,000 members, bunch of replies, bunch of articles, videos, etc., and so on. Over on YouTube, one of the best-known Men Going Their Own Way vloggers who goes by the name of Sandman has racked up more than 90 million views for videos with titles ranging from Smart Men Don't Get Married to Criticize Her and She Will Destroy Your Career. Uh, there's nothing false about those statements. Nothing extreme. Nothing unorthodox, unless you mean, by unorthodox, men are not willing to sign up and be on the plantation anymore. Oh! See, men are always expected to do what society demands men to do. That would be get married, that would be have children, work hard your whole life, protect, provide for the family. And when some men say, you know, I don't like the way this game is rigged in favor of women, well, obviously you're a misogynist, you hate women, and you're evil, toxic, creepy, etc. Shaming language, it's just lovely. So she goes and writes about the four levels of men going their own way, I guess. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Well, what are the four levels, I guess? Level one, rejecting long-term relationships. Level two, short-term relationships. Three, requires economic disengagement, reducing taxation as far as possible. And ghosting, right? Monk mode. So, in some areas, men going their own way resemble men's rights activists more than incels or PUAs. I don't even know how PUA gets in the same friggin' sentence as men going their own way. PUAs try their best to get with women. Generally, that's not what men going their own way do. We try to minimize contacts with women. I know, it's crazy. She writes, both groups believe that women pose an immediate threat to all men. Laura, please listen, listen up. Not all women will do some of the things the men going their own way guys talk about. But all women can do these things. You see the difference between all women do and all women have the power to. That doesn't mean they're going to, but they have the power. Big distinction. Men's rights activists believe that women, some women, Laura, are so unfaithful and untruthful that they often force men to raise other men's children, thus financially cuckolding them. Laura, yeah, I don't know what it's like in, in, in Britain, where I think you are. In the United States, the phrase I come across mostly, under the legal definition of a father, a man is presumed to be the father of a child under certain circumstances. It depends on the state. This is kind of a general rule. Some states don't have this. Other states do. It looks like it's pretty much a majority. A man is presumed to be the father of a child if the man and the child's mother are or have been married to each other and the child is born during the marriage or within 300 days after the marriage is terminated. If a man is married to a woman and she has a child that is in his, he is legally responsible to care for that child. Oh, you didn't know that. Well, of course you didn't because you don't care because it never comes up with respect to females. They just want, you know, resources, however they get them. Men going their own way believe that women are extremely likely to make false accusations of sexual, of S or DV in order to damage men socially, steal their money, or even have them jailed. Well, 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 <laughs> hold on, hold on. You're referring to the pound me movement. How many men were jailed due to the pound me? Two? How many men had their careers ruined over unsubstantiated allegations? Even consensual affairs. How many men were removed from their careers and their lives ruined, divorces, all of that? How many? Hundreds? Thousands? George Orwell famously once said, in reply, you gotta break some eggs to make an omelet. So where's the omelet? What changes have come about? You broke a few eggs, 500, 1,000 guys removed from their careers and their lives. Basically, their lives are over. 
You broke those eggs, where's the omelet? I don't see one. As with many areas of the manosphere, it is difficult to know where most users of Men Going Their Own Way forums and communities are based, though the majority communicate in English. And comments and usernames suggest that the US, Canada, and the UK are common locations. Do you see what she's trying to say here, guys? What we're supposed to infer? That most men going their own way are W men. <laughs> Which is not true, of course. In fact, obviously it is because in these countries, the majority of men are lowercase w men. Shh, I know. But the implication, of course, is that there's something evil afoot because they're mostly lowercase w. You, you get the picture, right? It is easy to write off men going their own way as a weird group of goofy celibates. Yet it has in some ways quietly penetrated mainstream culture more successfully than any other segment of the manosphere. Why do you think that is? Any ideas? Because the men's rights advocates and activists have been pretty much ineffective in getting laws changed, in getting things more fair in the family court system. Talk about DNA testing for children. No, none of this has happened. And God bless them, they've, they've, they've tried. They've tried. Nothing's happened. And so if you can't change the system, you check out. I'm not going to deal with it. I know what the rules are. I know how this game is played. I don't want anything to do with it. I just want to do my own thing. I want to be me. I want to just enjoy my life. And, and for God's sake, when did it become toxic for a man to decide to do what he wants with his own life? I, 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 I just, I don't, I don't understand it. So the article is long. You can read it. It's been covered by Joker and, and by uh, Sydney, men going their own way and others and stuff. And I'll put some links below. The bottom line is society expects men to do certain things where all the societal expectations on women have been stripped away. And so when men decide to do essentially the same thing as feminists, I want to live my life the way I want to do it, and I don't want anyone to tell me what to do, my body, my choice, blah, 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 blah. Men who do the same thing as many of these F-word people, we are toxic, evil, misogynist, woman haters. Because if you don't worship the poon. Obviously, you hate women. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.